Okay. Um, so Miguel, I just want you to see where the recorded lectures are. So I already covered it uh, just previously, but it'll uh, help you. And I'm trying to record this little session. And if I keep it under 10 minutes, I can put it on YouTube. I assume that you have your VPN set up. So from where you're at, you would establish your VPN connection. You would go to your Connect To on your Start menu and connect to your TGSL students, the, the VPN connection. If you don't have your VPN established, then you need to email the help desk at the law school uh, IT department. And that help desk is simply help at tjsl.edu. You need to tell them your name, your contact details, your time zone, we're in Pacific time, they need to know if you're in India, you're around the world, you're 12 hours later, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're in a, uh, in you are, if you're in a, outside the United States, it's helpful to provide a Skype, a Skype username, they all use Skype here, or, but certainly your telephone number. And, uh, and and then finally, fourth, you must provide the issue. If the issue is simply like, I'm not established on VPN, then they'll send you your username, password, and the VPN memo, how to establish your VPN. If you can't access VPN because you've tried, then you need to tell them exactly what you've done. Like step by step, write out a Word document. This is what I did, and then this is the error message I get, or or it just doesn't work. And you need to tell what operating system you're using. Are you using new Windows, old Windows? You're using Macintosh because Macintosh has different instructions from Windows, and new Windows has different instructions from old Windows. Windows Vista versus like Windows 2003. We're not using Vista here. I use Vista at home, but here we use 2003, or whatever the latest version of Windows is. And here we use Windows networking versus like Windows uh, home version. Okay, so um, now let's assume you got your VPN sorted. So then I want to... Uh, um, Open up an Internet Explorer window, and I want to type in students.tgsl.edu. Now, you may already know this. It was in your oops, uh, just, uh, materials that you received. And students.tgsl.edu brings you to the law library. Okay, I'm pretty sure you've seen all this before. Our research databases are linked to by clicking on research databases. And here you have the 60 or 70 law databases available by topic area and so forth. Um, but uh, what, we're, what I want to show you it's the class lectures. So you saw I clicked on library. From library, I clicked on class lectures. I've highlighted it now on your screen. When I clicked on it, it opened up the web page that says class lectures. Under the class lectures web page, I You'll see that they put like the newest ones. They've up existing list updated to exist list. Anyway, um, usually speaking, the lectures for the LM program 
or under LM program. Doesn't always mean. Sometimes we have you review library mini classes, by example, for thesis one. In our career services classes, also as part of your thesis one and two, we have you how to get a career in tax finance law lectures. In-house counsel panel. It may be the uh, benefits of an LM program lectures. Right there. But uh, generally speaking, it be LM program. You still got to go select a class. If I select tax treaties class, maybe two separate dates the lecture is recorded. Maybe part one and part two of that lecture. So I need to select the right date, and then that lecture will open up. If it's um, Pathfinder versus Thesis, or if I want to know how to do my career matrix, how to write my thesis, how to use Butterworths. I don't know. I'll click on the Butterworths. Select a date. And the in the and then my lecture will just start. Now I do not have to be on the VPN actually to open this lecture. So. I can be on this lecture. I can go to my students.tgsl.edu website. Open. I just showed you what I did. Click on the web. My username and password. So you know, let's just pretend your username was uh, Fred. <laughs> You, t you know, you just use your Fred, and your password is, let's say, uh, Gills. So it's just going to give you a box, and you and you type in your username and password. You do not have to have your VPN on to watch the lectures. You need the VPN on to do the databases to authenticate your student status for entry into all those law databases. 